Hitting a shuttlecock is an example of projectile motion because it is launched at an angle influencing its trajectory and moving in a parabolic arc. As the shuttlecock is launched, it flies through the air, defying gravity and moving at a vertical motion up until it reaches the highest point where the velocity is 0 meters per second. It falls down, accelerating as gravity pulls it. It remains in motion as it has a constant horizontal velocity which is called horizontal motion because it is independent to the vertical motion and vice versa. Throwing a coin at a high place is an example of a projectile motion. In the video, the coin was thrown horizontally and after a second, the coin immediately fell down. To explain this, the action of the projectile of the coin being thrown result for the coin to stay in the air for a second, but after a second it immediately fell down because of the gravity that pulled the coin, and after this, the action of projectile is already showed and justified. The sleeper is the object or projectile being launched as the sleeper is kicked. It is launched at an angle and it is launched horizontally and vertically until it reaches the uppermost point of where it stops. And gravity pulls it in lands vertically, with a horizontal motion creating distance from the initial position to the landing point, making it projectile launch at an angle. The bomb from Beatrix Canyon that hit Selena is an example of vertically launched projectile. Because its horizontal velocity moves in a constant direction, and as you can see, when the bomb goes up, its vertical velocity decreases. While when the bomb goes down, its vertical velocity increases. When I throw the ball onto a basket, projectile motion occurs. In projectile motion, horizontal and vertical motion are both presented. The force that is present in the ball and the distance created is the horizontal motion, while the pull of gravity is the vertical motion. A bottle rolling off the table and fall into the ground is also an example of projectile motion because when a bottle being rolled using a force of my own hand, it rolls off at the table with an increasing amount of horizontal velocity and when it begins falling, the horizontal velocity will cover some distance in x direction before it strikes the ground and also in other way at the same time. When battle begins falling, it will strike the ground in instant because of independency of vertical motion of battle in any horizontal motion and I think it is also because of a gravity that pulls the battle downward. I could say that leaping or jumping from the chair to the ground is an example of projectile motion. Because my body moves along in the curve or parabolic shape path under the influence of the gravity. When I started to jump, my body moves at a some angle from the horizontal. My body travels at a distance up into the air before eventually hitting or falling on the ground and makes some distance away from the chair. Remember that the easiest way to, re to understand my example is that the horizontal motion and the vertical motion of my body while moving into the air are completely independent to each other. The socks are acting as a projectile. As I threw it, it launches horizontally with velocity, creating some distance from the initial point to where it lands. Gravity pulls the socks, making it fall vertically. Therefore, it is considered as a projectile motion. This is another example of projectile motion.
The water that comes out of the hose creates a parabolic motion. The water goes back down as gravity pulls it. All while creating a horizontal distance. Therefore, it is an example of projectile motion.